This page describes energy and electricity production, consumption and import in Laos. Topic: <inaudible> Hydropower <inaudible> 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 The Lao government had ongoing plans in 2012 for 80 new hydropower plants for electricity export. Hydropower may have large environmental and social consequences beyond national borders. Non-governmental organization International Rivers has raised concerns over these plans. Zayaburi <laughs> Dam The $3.8 billion, .4 billion pounds hydroelectric dam project at Zayaburi Dam has caused tension among Mekong region countries, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia and Thailand. In April 2012 a contract was signed for a Thai company, CH Kanchang, to build the dam. The Lao government has pledged to resolve the environmental issues. The government says two big issues, fish migration and sediment flow, will be addressed. Critics say the hydroelectric dam project at Zayaburi would harm the river's ecosystem. Finnish engineering firm Poiri supported the Lao government in the hydropower construction, e.g., by argument that no international agreement is needed. Poiri Engineering supported in 2012 in Laos Mekong River Zayabar hydropower plant that was opposed at least by Cambodia, Vietnam and environmental and other non-governmental organizations. Poiri admitted it had not assessed all environmental risks fish, ecosystem. According to Poiri they have no responsibility of their reports, Olemi Pelka Consulti. We only consult, it said in June 2012, the aim was to supply electricity mainly to Thailand by a Thai company and to provide export income to the government of Laos. However, the Mekong River Commission recommended to suspend the project. According to Finnish media the Finnish government is among the main financiers of the River Commission. As of 2012, the Mekong River downstream is free of dams. Approximately 60 million people live in the area in Laos, Vietnam and Cambodia. Then U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton visiting the ASEAN countries in July 2012 demanded environmental investigations of the project. During her visit the Lao government made the first official announcement to suspend the project. Power companies Power companies responsible for energy and electricity production in Laos include, Electricity du Laos, Glo Energy a subsidiary of GDF Suez, Lao Holding State Enterprise and Nam Thien Tu Power Company, a consortium comprising French-owned EDF 40% ownership, Thai 35% and Lao 25% entities. Topic. See also Economy of Laos